Which of these was a 1974 number one single for Charles Aznavour? A, she, B, her, C, the cat's mother. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I haven't pressed C. <laughs> no, that's great. Brilliant. You've put she. Yeah, it's got to be that, hasn't it? It's great, it's great, isn't it? Uh, correct answer is... She. All right, step close to home, well done. Chaser has put... Yeah, good, very, very good. Goes also with she. Here's your next question. Which of these Brazilian cities includes San Sebastian in its full name? A, Brasilia, B, Rio de Janeiro, or C, Sao Paulo? You've put Rio de Janeiro. Brasilia was very recent, uh, became the capital, so it's just a toss-up between B and C, actually. Correct answer is... Well played, Rio de Janeiro is the right answer. Step close to home, Chaser has put... Goes wrong with Sao Paulo. Great answer, that. I just broke the cardinal rule there of the Chasers. Gut feeling. I was thinking Rio de Janeiro before it came out, and then for some reason... Slip my finger across there. A uh, game opens up with four ahead, three from home. Here's your next question. Which of these sportsmen would be most likely to produce a divot? A, Ronnie O'Sullivan. B, Rory McIlroy. C, Roger Federer. You've put Rory McIlroy. Yeah, I think when you hit it off a straight service, a divot comes up. Correct answer is... Well played, Rory McIlroy, a fine player he is too. Step close to home, Chase has put. Good game, miss. Doing all right. Yeah, Rory McIlroy. Well, you're a good golfer, so your divots are probably quite small, but... Do you know what? I'm not as good as I think I am. <laughs> Here we go, here's your next question. In 2011, Neil Kinnock's daughter-in-law became Prime Minister of what country? A, Denmark. B, Latvia. C, Netherlands. A? You've put Denmark. Yeah, I think so. Correct answer is... <laughs> well, nice. what a family that is. <laughs> um, step closer to home. Well played, Jed. Great answer. Chaser has put... Well, there you are. Chaser also goes right with Denmark. Remains four behind with one from home. Right, here's your next question. In 1963, which astronaut was the last American to go into space on a solo mission? A. Gordon Cooper. B. Wally Shearer. C. Deke Slayton. Right, let's have a look. You have put, Jed, Wally Shearer. Never heard of any of them. No, me neither. All right, well, let's go through with six grand. We've, we've got four chances. Let's yeah. take our time. Let's toy with him. Let's toy with him. <laughs> the correct answer is to go through with six grand. Well, Gordon Cooper's the right answer. Staying where we are, Chaser has put. Can the Chaser close the gap? Does indeed. Moves to within three of us. Thank you, Thunderbirds. Eh? Well, the five Tracy boys in Thunderbirds were named after the first five Americans in space. So Scott, Virgil, oh, Alan, John and Gordon. So I went on that. Thank you very much. What a great fact that is. Yeah. All right, we have three chances of getting through. This is right. We'd have had two shots at 36 grand. Here's your question. Good luck, Jed. Play Thank well. you. Which of these was one of Alexandre Dumas' Three Musketeers? A. Athos, B. Bathos, C. Kathos. <laughs> <laughs> Athos, I Bathos. Bathos was going to come up. Athos, Bathos, and Kathos. Oh, aren't they all holiday destinations in the Greek islands? <laughs> You've put A. Athos. Do you think that's right? I hope so, mate. Wow, look at that. See ya. Correct answer is. All for one, and one for all. For all. <laughs> Brilliant. Hey, well played. That yeah, was great, so terrific. So terrific. So all them lads at their car plant now, mate, they're going, go on, Jed. <laughs> well played, you didn't get many wrong. Uh, you'd have had a couple of shots for £36,000. 
and your teammates will be hoping you're the first of three musketeers. Yes. However, I intend to be Cardinal Richelieu. Ooh, get you. Jed, well played, Thank mate. you very much. Come on. That's it. Back to Jag in front of all the lads. See, I told you I could do it.